And I'm an ex housemate. Yes, ex <laughs> <My> brother <laughs> contestant. <laughs> yes, and I didn't win the show, but I won in life. Okay. <laughs> yes. <Wonderful. laughs> so I would like to know you guys. So we were on her. She's okay. introduced herself already. So you. So I am Lola Simeon. I am housemate. 41. Nice. I am the power couple for this week mm. oh. and I am an international model. I am based in France. I work as a philanthropist with children. I have a foundation which is led to our children dream foundation. Oh, nice. I'm advocating for equal um, treatment for every child, be you boy or girl. And I'm also the founder of Fashion to Empower, which is a fashion house, you know, trying to promote the Sierra Leone fashion industry. And uh, what else can I tell you? Hello. I think I can also tell you that I am also a translator. I love languages. I love exploring. Wow. And I can speak three international languages, which is English, French, and Spanish. Wow, so, nice. <laughs> uh, we, you're welcome to our noble home and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you. George, I can't hear you. <laughs> My name is Nomi George. Okay. I'm also an actor in um, Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria nice. My base in Asaba. Oh, okay. yeah. nice. Okay. Hey, um, my name is Ben Bosch. I'm a professional music producer. I'm a recording artist of Condor Visions Inc. And um, you landed in Lungate Airport, right? What did you say? You landed at Lungate Airport, right? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm from the Northwest region. That's region. Yeah. That's oh. where I'm from. Okay. Yeah. I'm a village boy from Kutoko. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'm housemate number two, by the way. Oh, nice, uh, yeah. nice. Okay. You? Mm -hmm. well, I'm Hello, Erica. <laughs> is he always this dramatic? Yeah, yeah, very. Yeah. Yes, this is the quiet time you get back. Wow. <laughs> okay. Don't mind them. Um, I am Osman Bendu, popularly known as Mami Thomas, the sexy one, not the old type of Mami Thomas. You are sexy. Oh. Uh, okay. You will soon see the sexy part <laughs> of me. You will soon see the sexy part of me. I think other people should call you sexy, not you. You, uh, oh, yeah. you will see what he means in the field. In a few minutes, he will, he will be transformed. So, um, I am a student of the University of Management and Technology in Tech, and um, I am a DJ and MC, mm. uh, commentator, but I am a comedian also. Mm. And um, I am housemate contestant. Number 50, I am the 5 0. <laughs> and we have 5 0. We have a big 5 0 here. And um, I think I'm the first power couple in this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fans, fans, my fans, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if I have to speak everything, I won't let this speak. But let me give um, the children of Lucifer to speak to so right. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'll divorce you. <laughs> oh, so yeah, who's the. Person you're attached to here? Um, <laughs> I am attached <laughs> to. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, Lola Simeon from France, and uh, and this is my couple for this week. But uh, <laughs> don't try me. I'll divorce you. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> couple for the week? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So we we. The game, it, part of the game is about coupling weekly, so you, you couple with the opposite sex to just play the game. Okay, yeah, but not, not romantic. Well, romantic. But if you want, there are some that build. If you want, some that build. Some that build. Some that build. Some you're couple with him, let's say he did couple last week and they built a bond. Mm. So they seem, that's why he, he stated first that this is where he's connected no, to. No, he couple last week. Oh, you couple last week? Yes. Oh, okay. No, we had a couple yeah, previous yes, week, yes. before last week, and they both bonded. And we stay connected, and they even, stay, though, oh, we're not even though they're not the coupled the next week, they're still oh. that, they still have that bond. Nice. Yeah, so. Hope he's not stressing you. Hello. Hey! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he's been my couple for one hour, I'm already stressed. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Don't mind them, they lie too much. <laughs> okay, hello. Hello, hello Rika. Hi. I'm Yeni Helen Sonfu, contestant 59. And I'm a graduate, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a makeup artist, a caterer, a barber. Nice. So, a barber? Yes, yes, I'm a barber. Cool, that's cool. <laughs> I think and I so you. I'm here actually to promote skill. So, nice. Yeah. Okay. Hello, lovely lady. Yeah, hello, Erika. <laughs> 
My name is Amnata Tijaman Saye, but people call me Lady Nata for short. I'm an artist, I'm based in Sweden, and I have seven songs. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, I have seven songs. Wait, so artists, like musician, musician or painter? Yeah, musician, oh, okay. yes. I have seven songs. <laughs> seven songs? Okay. Yes, I have seven songs. So I'm here to promote my music. And also. It's like a hot um, mom, right? Yes, my songs, yeah. So, and nice. also, um, like, I'm here to talk about um, my people all over yeah. Africa. Because um, once uh, I pass to um, Libya, Temple Run, so I'm here to like talk to be activists for my fellow as, uh, African people who are suffering in Libya, Kuwait, Aww. and other places. So that's the reason why I'm here, <coughs> and also to promote my musical career. Nice. Yeah, that's thank good. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Thank you. Hi, yeah. Erika. Hi. My name is Patricia Ustoka, and I'm commonly called Pat Rose. I'm a second year student at Njaga University. That is like the second city of Sierra Leone. Yeah. I'm studying business administration and management. That's what I studied. Okay, well, that's oh. what I'm Nice. Yeah. Yes, so I'm an actress, producer, and a makeup artist. I'm here advocating for producers, investors, and sponsors to like discover new talents, new phases in the, like, in the provinces to reach out, not just the city of Freetown, but they should reach out and discover other phases and give us equal opportunities to be seen and heard. And I'm also advocating for violence against women. Mm. So this is me, welcome to Sierra Leone and welcome to Housemates Salon Season 3. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hey, um, I gotta confess, you look beautiful in person than the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> really Thank beautiful. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I'm Paul, Paul Bayo. Okay. Um, my number is 54 and I'm 54. <laughs> Wait, how is that possible? Because <laughs> I am, I'm 54. So my house number is 54 and I'm 54. Um, I'm a social worker. <laughs> <laughs> You're confused. Check. I'm confused. That, that's just my picky lines, yeah. So, okay. Um, I'm a social worker. Um, I'm from Kono, like the eastern part of Sierra Leone. Okay. Um, if you watch the, Blood, the movie Blood Diamond, mm -hmm. that's my place. Yeah, that's our city. Nice. Um, I'm, I'm a CEO for Clothing Line, and I'm a businessman. Once more, you're welcome, and you're super beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> my blood. Uh, wow. Hello. Hi. So I'm Julie Tombo. I'm an entrepreneur. I own a called Jujunova. I'm the CEO of my daughters. Um, I'm here to raise awareness against stigmatization on women that have children. I have six kids. Nice. Wait, so, you have seven sons. Songs. Oh, I thought you meant sons. No, oh, songs. Oh, I ever call that hot mom. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So, yes, oh. yes, yes. I have six children. Older's gonna be 15, so yes. And wow. what else? Nice. I'm the drama doll here. Wait, what's going on? That's a sexy part. You guys are very unique. Call me. Aww. Wait, you said you was very close. Whoa. With this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whose wig did he borrow? Oh, it's my baby. It's, 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 oh. Oh, oh, it's mine. Wow. So to go now, I think you could take one. Okay. So yes, like I was saying, that's all. And nice meeting you. And nice meeting you here. too. I like the nice. attitude. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. I've been through a number. Erica, you my aunt. Oh. Yeah. I wanna give you my body oh. 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 Hello, Erica. I am Almond Tal. I'm a model, I'm a pageant king, and I'm the first Sierra Leonean model to represent Sierra Leone in the Philippines. Happens to be second one of out of 32 countries, and the first model to have four awards in the international platform. And the first model to have international nomination. And to be candid enough, you're super beautiful. Oh, if thank you. Any word, but I'm beautiful, that's you. And I want to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, hello, Erica. Welcome to Sierra Leone, okay. the Lion Mountain. Okay. And welcome to Housemates. This is Chief's house. Okay, I need perfect decorum, please. Yes. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, yeah. I want to hear myself. <laughs> As you can see, I was just getting ready to go to bed. I don't know the time, but hey. So, um, you're welcome to our premises. 
you Thank you are so beautiful you already Thank know you. that <laughs> oh, every guy my girl but hey i am alice hannah kanja housemate contestant number five nice um i am representing team network you know i'm a blogger an <coughs> mc a talk show host a red carpet host a youtuber let me say something about showbiz just put me in there slap me that's where i uh, i belong and now i fell in love with agriculture back in 2020 mm -hmm. so i'm the sexiest agriculturist in sierra leone okay. i own like i have more than 30 acres of land doing farms nice. and welcoming people that want to invest you know we're looking for investors yeah. but yes thank you so much what and do you guys farm What's well for them? now i farm 25 acres of rice because this that's our staple food here in sierra nice. leone and i planted five acres of cassava farm wow. in my village where uh, my mom was born and then i have where my poloko brothers was born um in poloko yeah. i have 12 acres of land i'm gonna be um they planted um corn and um peanuts Nice. So, but I gradually, I want to excel above and beyond mm -hmm. the country of Sierra Leone. I want my people to stay out of hunger and, you know, mm, much love. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Henrika. Um, Hello. Smoking, smoking hot, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> my name is George. I'm the retailer, housemate number 26. Okay. I'm from USA. Um, I'm a chef. I'm an uh, entertainer. I do, um, I, I own a... Uh, Entertainment company known as KG Entertainment. Okay, what do you guys do exactly? I promote mm -hmm. artists, I mm -hmm. do shows, events, and all. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. So I'm here to, sh to uh, showcase my skill as a chef to, um, to um, show the world that men can cook. Okay. So I, I want to encourage young boys and also some of the ladies who don't want to be in the kitchen. So I'm here, <laughs> as you all know. You I'm want here. to encourage the ladies who don't want to be in the kitchen. Yes. What, what do you mean Not by that? Not all ladies want to be in the kitchen. Yeah. Yes. So you want to encourage them to go to the kitchen. To go to the kitchen. Why? You know we have some slay, some slay lolo, some slay queens. Like you know? me, I don't want to go to the kitchen. <laughs> so that's why so. I'm here to encourage you also. <laughs> why? No worry. If you don't want to be in the kitchen, I'll cook for you. No problem. All right. All Good. right. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to sh <laughs> to show the men how. They can be romantic to their exactly. wife. Exactly, that's what also. you should be saying. Not to okay. Okay. Girls so anyway, let me turn away. <laughs> so that's it. So um, that's me. Okay. Yeah. Thank nice. you. Wait, I heard the name Ayodele. Ayodele. So are you Yoruba? Yeah, mix here. Yeah. So Nigerian. Yeah, Nigerian. Nice. Yes. I'm also Nigerian. Oh. Okay, My grandmother cool. from Nigerian. My great grandma. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Hello. You look so beautiful and sexy, Erika. Okay. Nice <laughs> Hold on, hold on. It's Erica, it's allowed. Oh, are you guys together? Yeah. Oh. So, excuse me, excuse me. You okay. look so beautiful and sexy, Erica. Thank and your you. lifestyle where you get Itudia, we thank God for our free self and they will make you kaya. I hope say the man where you get it can be a please translate, you know like <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful, yeah. you're sexy, your lifestyle and your looks is expensive. Mm. Hope that, you, that the guy that you have, you're dating, mm. is a real and a cool guy. Well, I hope so. So we so thank too. God for AYV and Alfresel, housemates will make you come alone, <laughs> that brought you here. Nice. My name is Francisco, I'm a musician. Uh -huh. Housemate 23. Do you rap? Brown sugar. AKA Brown Sugar, the name given to me by this beautiful oh. lady. Oh. 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 Nice. <laughs> Hello, Erica. I've been under the water today, but um, you know, thank God. My name is Muna Mimi Zayat, um, AKA the Ginger Queen. I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I own two businesses, a jewelry company, and I export um, African food um, grocery to Atlanta for my people over there. Nice. Uh, I was a nurse, transitioned into business because I love money. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm here um, to um, bring sensitization on domestic violence um, mm -hmm. and mental health. As yeah. you know, Africa, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about these things mental and health, they're yeah. real. So that's why I'm here. And you're welcome to our home. Thank you. Hope you have a good time. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank and you, you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you, you too. Last Hi. Hi. <laughs> Erica, you look beautiful. 
Thank you. Um, you're welcome in our house. Thank you. My name is Double A. I'm mm. from London. I'm a musician. Um, <laughs> no, listen, Erica, we appreciate you. Once again, you look beautiful. Thank you. Um, Wait, why is everyone laughing when he's talking? <laughs> because, because I've got people like these, these infants who don't like me. But I'm going to sit right here, Erica. Yeah, it's right here. Nice to meet you. Okay, so first of all, who are people fighting? Yeah. You guys are making so much noise. Yeah, we had a debate. Yeah, so we had a, we had a so we Okay. Had, we had a debate. So the debate was intense. It was about structures and money in our industry in Sierra Leone. Like, which, which one is the most needy one? What, what is it? In what industry? In the investment industry. In so, so what, what do you take? take? What's your take? General. On what I do? She's not part of the entertainment no, 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 industry. No, 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 but I will talk about no. Nigeria. I wouldn't talk about Sarah, yes, so I don't know. So in your opinion? Let's say in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, structure and money, mm -hmm. which is most important in an entertainment industry. In your entertainment, in your entertainment you industry. Because, no, you, you know it's an answer, and we're here to argue with you. Go ahead. No, you're not here to argue with me. I will. I will. No, no, no. no. Let me hear what I want. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Argue with anyone, okay? What's your I'm not here to argue, and that conversation is for you guys. That's not for us. 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 So that's what we were arguing about. When okay, you came. but it sounded very aggressive. Yes, it's I thought it was something personal. No. And also, there was personal thing going on. Who knows you know the personal stuff? What about what? About what? He knows it is the snitch in this house. He do not sleep at night. About what? What is the personal thing? What she must Ask Mami Thomas. Mami Thomas will tell you. You said there's a password. If you want to hold the password, just when you go home, I'm sure there's a If you want to hold the password, it's when you go home, stay glued to your TV. Then you still come in the morning. You will see everything that goes here. You will see. That's why he said you should ask me. But I won't tell you now. Stay glued to your TV when you go home. No problem. She's a gossiper. Oh. He or she is the gossiper. Uh huh. I'm a combined service. Use he and she together to get me. Okay, <laughs> nice. So I would like for you guys to show me around the house. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Power couples, you can do that. We still the poor uh, so couple, so we can. Yeah. Nobody asked you. All the right rights and you. power to make decisions in the house that yeah. has to do with the running of the house. Mm -hmm. And we all we also have humanity, which means we're not up for eviction. Yes. Yes. So that you was can, last you can, you can, you no, can. No, but I would like no, everyone. Explain, no, we're yeah. explaining to her what it means. Okay, guys. So I would like everyone to. Show me around. Yes. Oh, so okay. that the kitchen. So let's go. We let's all start there. You guys. Yes. Come, come, you come, 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 so how do you guys? Your bag, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> we actually have um, gym instructor that comes every Monday mm, yeah. um, from, from two coffee. different, from two coffee different, two, two, yes. two different, yes, yeah, two different gyms. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Every Monday from Monday to Friday. But we do, we do uh, sometimes downstairs, sometimes, sometimes up. Upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is our exactly place we can go. Have you have you heard about this family? Yes, I have. The last time I was here. <laughs> That's our laundry room over there. Laundry room, okay. So basically, everyone, these are all Okay, so guys, in order for it not to be rowdy, I feel like the two yeah, power, the power couple should That's speak, right. but That's like true. everyone shows me around. Okay. But like one person is yes. busy talking. Yeah, okay. I think that would be the best. So, so that's the um, laundry room. room. Any, any laundry room? room? Yeah. And if you can see, these are all our sponsors. Yeah, our sponsor nice. Sponsoring the show, everything, chicken towel. These are all our sponsors. We can't go outside. Wait, 
Where's the laundry? Yeah. This is the laundry room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the other way. This is our laundry room. This is where we do our laundry. Okay. okay. That's cool. So you guys have to take turns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I have to wash my shoes. Okay. <laughs> and then where else? We're going. I'm going to show you to the entertainment room. This hmm? is where we have our parties. <laughs> party, the club area. This is where we have the party. Wait, what happened to everyone? I thought everyone was showing me around. I know. So yeah. we want to give yeah. the park couples the party. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or you can come with us, but we speak. That's what she was saying. Yeah, they can be with us and we right. just speak. Mm -hmm. Why is everyone sitting? No, no. Guys, can you join us, please? Can you please join us? Let's walk out. No, she said so they need to speak, speak but, but everyone come. We need to talk together. Yeah, let's all please come. Let's all guys. show me around, oh. right? I mean, tell us. Okay. Let's go. This is okay. the club where we're partying. Oh, this is where on you guys Saturday. party. Sometimes nice. we we'll go outside on Friday or Thursday. So, Saturday. are you guys allowed to just party at any time? What if, no, no, what if, no, no, no. Saturday. Saturday. Only, only on Saturdays? Only on Saturdays. 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 We have a full party on Saturday. Outside. Yeah. And what if you decide you just want to party today? What no, happens? No, it's not possible. Like I said, that must be cheap. Cheap enough. No, 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 no. Just make a decision on your own. It's not possible. Yeah, we don't make a decision. Okay. No problem. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm a rule breaker. So yeah. I was just wondering, like, so what yeah. if you decide to make party? Like, what happens? It can't no, evict everyone at the same we're time. We're going to break the rules right? tonight. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> the, the best way to break rules is if all of you break the rules at the same time. At the same time. Exactly. What, what exactly. would they do? <laughs> <laughs> they're not one of us outside the room. This is the okay. room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is the room. Yeah. yeah. The bathroom is over here. Yeah. So that yeah. everyone stay here the together. Yes. Yes. Only the men. Oh. Only the men. As you can see, everybody yeah. have their names. Yeah. So nice. Everybody have their names. Even if you don't watch it, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. The dress is yeah. nice. Thank you. I'm going to show you the female room. Yeah. Okay. This is our diary room. This is where we speak to Chief. Is it, is it over there? Yes. You can go in. We don't go in. You can go in. You can go in. Yeah, we too can. The last time we went in. The last time we went in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 This is the diary room where we nice. talk to Chief. I like I'm Madam Chief. Nice, yes. nice, yes. nice. <laughs> okay. 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 But where else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Classroom. Classroom for what exactly? For debates, mostly for debates. Wow. Okay. The ladies' room. Nice. Yeah. So do guys and girls sleep together or yeah, yeah. this is my bed? Yeah. So do you, do you usually have guests in your bed? Mm -hmm. No, no this one. No, she sleeps over. She go over, she go over all the time. Ah. Yeah, she doesn't sleep out. She, she doesn't sleep over. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So you went do you sleep in the female room or the male room? This one is happy. Have you seen the classroom? Wow. Look at him trying to shake yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the classroom, right? Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see the classroom. The classroom. The classroom. <laughs> it's a classroom. Nice. It's like a real classroom. Yes. Is there any king? Like, yes, okay, we have so. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we have sometimes. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Are you guys still fighting? We 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 fight for living. Thank you for living. Thank you for living.
Is it that when it's too peaceful, you get bored or something? Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we have okay. to too much of peace. That's our problem. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I'm here to just with you guys about plans for after Housemate. Yeah, after the competition. Mm. What do you guys intend to do with the fame? Aww. Yeah. So I just want to let you guys know my own story. <laughs> so for me, going into a competition like um, I went for Big Brother, you guys are in mm. Housemates and then, but going for a competition similar to this, I went because uh, first of all, there was COVID, I was bored. Second, it's because I already had a career and the fact that I've been doing the same thing over and over for like, I think six years? Yeah, I was doing it for six years and I still had to introduce myself and say, I'm an actress. And so people will be like, are you sure you're an actress? I've never seen you in a movie before. <laughs> so I wanted that platform. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm not interested in your yeah. argument. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me. You got nothing to money. She, no, she went to the show. She did not win the show. She went there. She struggled her But she did She started knowing her. It's all the love. Go ahead, Erica. But that's the same thing I said to her. She went to the show for structure. No, no, no. Okay guys, as I was saying, the reason why I went for the show is because I had a plan already. I was doing something already and I just needed that fame to just push me in the right direction and make everyone know me, at least for my work. If you're not famous in this work, that means you're not really popular, you're not successful. There are some other people's jobs, like you said, you're a farmer, someone, you said you're an IT person oh, yeah, and you're going into that. law. So some people's work might not necessarily have to do with fame, but in my line of work, I needed that fame. And immediately I came out of the house, I went straight into the work. I know that a lot of people get carried away. When they come out, they get famous and the people are like, okay, we need to use this fame to do something. Then they use it to do the things that they see other famous people doing. Like some people are not even interested in acting, but they feel like, okay, because I'm famous, I should act. I should do this, I should do that. Should do. And they end up derailing. And then by the time one, one year has passed and then there's another set of housemates who are probably like, holding the viewer's attention. Yeah, now, now everyone forgets you. You could have used that one year to like really work on whatever you were doing before the house or whatever you plan to do with that fame, you know? And by the time people's attentions are on the new housemates, they, you, you, you already, you've had like one year of solid work. If you look at any, anyone who is successful, it is, First of all, the portfolio, the work they have put in. Second, how people see them, the kind of PR they must have done for themselves. <laughs> Guys. She said second. <laughs> they can't. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. So first, the work, you have to do the work well. You have to be good at your work. Not just, okay, yeah, I just wanted to do it. Nah, you have to be actually good. And we all know that there are so many good people who they're good at the job, but people don't know them. So that's where the fame comes in. And then apart from the fame, and obviously like the PR, comporting yourself, making sure people know you for your work and not controversies all the time, you know? Third, you have to package yourself like the people, who, like the most successful person. Like, let's see, Beyonce. When Beyonce first came out, it, as a musician, if you check her red carpet looks then, compared to her latest no. red carpet, the difference is clear. You could tell that she was struggling there, but as of that time, she was still packaging herself like, oh yeah, I'm Beyonce, I'm this, I'm that. And the fact that she was in a girl group and she packaged herself as the star of the group all the time, it made people focus on her, even as she didn't look as expensive as she looks today, 
people focused on her as well as the star already. So that's the thing. You always have to package yourself. Like, so any money you make, put it first of all in skill acquisition, make, making sure you sharpen your skill. Make sure, because when you get the, the opportunities will come. People now know you. They'll be like, oh, we know you for this. What do you want to use that fame to do? You want to put that fame, direct people's attention to what will actually sustain you for the rest of your life, or at least for the next 10 years. Whether it's farming, whether it's law, IT, acting, music, modeling, direct their attention to the work. Any money you get, use it to improve your skill yeah. so that you can, you can stand with the best in your field. It will give you confidence. Then after that, your PR, you have to make sure that people keep seeing you. You have to make sure you are in the news for the right things. If people forget about you, it's not good for the business. So you have to make sure people know. Some people might not really need this because, okay, law and farming, you might not necessarily need, you know. But the musicians, the actors, the models, you guys need to be in the news a lot. What about the chef? Well, it depends. Do you want to be a celebrity chef or do you want to be a low-key chef? chef? Well, then you need the, you need the people. You need, yeah. yeah, so be the news. Go for events, you know, network. And then make sure you're not, not because you want to be popular, you start doing crazy things and then you find yourself in the news for yeah. stupid things. It will be good for a few yeah. months, but people get bored at some point and they won't take you serious. It will overshadow the work. So don't do that. Then... When people are paying attention to you, you have to always show up as your best self. Show up as, as if you have made it. Show up as if, even if you have just one dollar in your account, show up as if you have one million dollars. Like, very expensive, that's it. And then people will always want to associate with you. I've noticed that that's, people want to associate themselves with success. Show up as the most successful person. And yes, not necessarily, well, yeah. Yes, package it properly because imagine there's a very, very lovely meal, very beautiful food that you just cooked and then you just put it on nylon, like a piece of nylon. Or maybe you just peel off this and put it and put the rice on. Who wants to eat it? Yeah, you need to put it, like, yeah, so put the packaging properly. Some people will eat that rice and be like, wow, this rice is actually good, even if it had the bad packaging, but only few people will be attracted to the rice. How many people will want to actually taste that rice and see that it's good, you know? So first of all, that packaging, they need to be attracted to you. But now when they're attracted to you, let it not be like, it's only packaging. Let it be substance. Let, it, let people see that you can actually do the work well. It's not just noise, you know? <laughs> yeah, so that's it. And then also make sure like, you put yourself out there, you network, go for events a lot. Introduce yourself to people. I know some people might not like to talk to other people first. Like me now, I'm very, I, I can be shy, yeah. And I, if I'm out, I wouldn't like to just walk up to someone and introduce myself. I don't like that, but sometimes I have to force myself to do it. Before Big Brother, I would force myself, like I would talk to different people. I can see you're going for this. Are you going for this show? Are you going for this event? Please let me be your plus one. Let me follow you. And then I'll go and find my nicest outfit, go with them. And I'll see producers, I'll see like directors of movies. I'll go and meet them. Hi, my name is Erica. I know you might not know me. I'm an actress. Can I get your number? Let me get your WhatsApp number. I'll send videos of myself acting to them. Yes, and I'll do that over and over, and, and I got a lot of no's. But, but at least I still got some yeses. And then by the time, like, it was my time to shine, they could see the work I had done. Like, while I was in the Big Brother house, I had a movie that had just come on Netflix. So it added to the film. They're like, oh, wow, this is the girl that was in that Netflix movie. Oh, I know her face from this movie. I know. So now that I'm outside the house, yes, it was. <laughs> thank you. So yeah, now that I'm outside the Big Brother house, I am just working on that same path because that's what I've always wanted to do, the movies. Yeah, and then now that the money is coming, I'm putting it into other things, which is like business. Yeah. I have my skincare line now, Stargirl Skin. 
obviously, we know that the entertainment industry it fluctuates. There are high periods where everyone's rushing you. There are some low periods where you're sitting at home like, ah, man, there's no money. You need some other form of sustenance, which is where business comes in. Every successful person has a business too. See Beyonce, as big as she is, she still has Ivy Park, right? See Rihanna, then she pause music for to do fancy. All of them, see Kanye, see Kylie. Um, Kim Kardashian, she did the makeup thing, she has schemes, all of them, because that's the, so, that's the one that will give you your Constance. money for, you know, even if you say, okay, I want, I want to take a break, yeah. especially for ladies, I know that, okay, at some point, when you get married and give birth, you might <coughs> slow, it might slow you down for, while the baby is still very small, you might, you won't be as active as, because your attention will be divided. Now, that money, Will keep you going and it will also enable you show up as your best self so let's say if you took a break for like three months and then you're ready to show people that yeah i'm still around you know you have the money there to get the nicest outfits you, you have the money to maybe just show up looking like yes i am the i am the star of the show i'm i'm still here but if you don't have a business or you don't have another source of income and you take a break for some reason, God forbid if you fall sick and you can't be in the entertainment scene for maybe a few months or something. What are you going to use? By the time you are ready to come back, you know a lot of people have very short attention span. Yeah, you need to be able to come back strong. So that is it. Remember what I've said, okay? Whatever it is that you guys are interested in, channel that fame into that and then some people might be more famous than others because obviously like people live every week and all of that even if you come out in week one week two a lot of people still know you it's still better you are in a much even if you stay on this show for one hour you are in a much better place than how you were before the show before the show nobody knew you. <laughs> yeah at least some people know you so use that tiny attention just network go out more that's it go out more Introduce yourself to the right people. Don't just go out aimlessly, you know? For things, events that are related to what you know will make you money, you know? Yeah, that's it. That's it, and always show up as your best self, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And always use me as an example, okay? I didn't mean this. <laughs> I'm a happy person, I think. Yeah, so that's it. Well, that's it. Yes, that's it. I'll be leaving you guys now. No. Oh, so yeah. Can we ask questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask questions. So okay. How has um, fame been for you since Big Brother? Obviously, you didn't win, we know, but you're very successful. So, how has yeah. it been? Um, it's been good and stressful at the same time. So, I've. A lot of good things happen to me so quickly that it's hard for me to even process that. Wait, is it me that these things happen to? Yeah. Like, my fans presented me a house as my birthday gift last year, a whole house. And I was like, wait, did this happen to me? Like, when it, ha it was months later that I had to sit down and just think, this is real, this is actually, because so many, th my life was on, I see someone just press fast forward. Everything was happening. Yeah. Today you have this. In fact, in one day I can have like four things to do. Like go for this appearance, go and film this movie, do this commercial, go and do the photo shoots. So I had to do so many things at the same time. So my brain was full. I didn't have time to actually sit down and process everything and just be grateful, you know, and actually enjoy being a celebrity. But it was good that I didn't process it because that would have slowed me down. That one year, the whole of 2021 last year, I spent it working. I didn't have a social life anymore. I lost a lot of friends because everyone's like, oh, Erica, she doesn't want to hang out anymore. Because she's, she's probably proud now. Um, no, nah, uh, I, I didn't. Yeah, I was just always working. I was working, working, working. Yeah. You will lose friends by the time you come out of your head. A lot of people are not going to be happy for you. Let me just let you guys know. Lot, especially people who. You guys were on the same level before, or even the ones who were bigger than you before. Yeah. Or maybe they had more money than you. Yeah. When they see now that you're leveling exactly. up more than them, people are like, hmm, what's it feeling like? What's it feeling like? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind them, just focus. Yeah. You're not, in this life, mm -hmm. I've noticed that if you're not very, very successful, or if you 
don't exactly like massage the ego of certain people. Some people want you because you're successful. Some other people want you because you're not successful. Yeah. So that you can be their mm -hmm. follower and follower. their yes exactly. ma, yes. Uh-uh. Yeah. Focus on where you're going. By the time you reach your destination, they will all come back or you meet new people. Yeah. Exactly. And the people who really matter in your life, they won't, they won't drop you. Mm -hmm. They will still be there by you. Yeah, like me, I don't have a lot of friends, but I have a few friends and they've been there for years and I carry them along. So that's it. Obviously, make time for your friends, but don't spend too much time just playing. This is the time to work. The, the, the time between this competition and the next, next year's competition, year. that's like one of your most serious. It's like you're writing exams. Yeah. Then it's after the next batch comes in. That's when you can start. And relax. You can get your life back. Yeah. That's it. In order to be very, very, very successful. successful. That's how it has been for me. Yes. It's now that I, I said this 2022, I must live like a young girl. Because yeah. I started feeling like, like yeah, yeah, like I started feeling like I was old already because I had so many things, serious things in my head. But yeah, so last year was stressful. But this year, I'm taking things easy. And I'm finally enjoying being famous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask, it's not a question. But it's funny because the same advice that you're giving. I've got a friend, a very good friend, who's in your industry as well. Okay. Mike Godson. Oh, yay! Yeah, he, he's a, well, every time he comes to London, I'm, I'm with him, you yeah. know, we speak here. So the same advice he, 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 um, you're giving now, yeah. that's the same thing he used to say as well. Yeah. So it's really good. Mm -hmm, nice, and he's doing very well. He's, he's very, very popular, well. yeah, very yeah. popular. Yeah. Nice, that's yeah. cool. So anyone has any questions? Yeah. How, do you, how do you manage um, critics on, on social media? <laughs> <laughs> I block people a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I just read two sentences of hate, block, that's it. At first, I used to reply them. <laughs> but I noticed that some people actually do it to get that response. Yeah. It makes them feel important, you know? And like, I was wondering, like, a lot of people actually show me love. Why am I paying attention I to the to, to the maybe ten percent? <laughs> that's yeah. But honestly, as a human being, yeah, you see the love and everything, but the yeah, one that will catch your eye is just that those, 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 those <laughs> horrible ones. I'm like, who, this, who does this person think is talking to? Huh? Then I want to respond. I used to respond a lot, but now I'm trying to, you know, okay. I just tell myself, okay, do you know who you are? You can't be talking to that. That yeah. different. <laughs> yeah. So just block. For me, I block. I'd, I'd advise. I'd advise you guys to block. Yes. So any more questions, guys? <laughs> okay. Um. I recall. What? Yeah. Like um, for all stars starting from the blues. Oh. Oh my god, so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> you, don't even, you, don't, you don't need me again. <laughs> Ask the question. Hey, my friend, can you please be quiet on the phone? Wow. Okay. You guys are. All starting from the scratch coming into this, uh, like as for me, uh, you know, I've been trying a lot. This is my very third time coming into this show. Oh. I never first season, second season, I succeeded. The third time I succeeded. I've been doing great though uh, when it comes to talent exposition because I've been a uh, radio station journalist, DJ and MC, whatever. But yet, um, I did fail in the previous, hey baby boy, <laughs> in the previous shows. Um, mm -hmm. Soon I started uh, this comedy thing and beca became a star on TikTok mm -hmm. um, in our country. And I think. Um, I had to let down critics and come to this show. Mm. Um, there are so many privileges that I never had. Like, I never had a bank account. So thanks to you, Ivan Africell, <laughs> CIA Commercial Bank has now opened for me a bank account when I'm in here. So when I go outside, I'll, I'll have a bank account now. <laughs> so um, uh, what kind of advice would you like give to us who are starting life with such a platform mm -hmm. away from here mm -hmm. when we go outside? How are we going to manage that? And how should we be living with such? Because we are here from different backgrounds and different homes, different standards. But some of us are starting from, are starting from scratch. You okay. never can tell. I'm very optimistic of winning, but everyone here else wants to win. So what if 
probably I don't win. Mm -hmm. I probably have another, another <laughs> life to continue with. So, uh, what such of advice would you like to give? And what do you want? Do you really want me to think to go? Because you know, when you start from the grass, yeah. you have your compatriot. You deal with your compatriots in the grass. From here, I might be up there, and you know the cycle. So. Okay. So first of all, you ask yourself, what did you come here for? So let me ask you, what did you come here for? To achieve my dreams and. What are the dreams? Like. So, <laughs> take my platform to the highest level. That is one. Oh yeah, what, what exactly? Yeah, just be yeah. as. <laughs> okay, so yeah. what is your highest dream? What do you want to do with because this? Comedian. For what? Like yeah. One, I want to be one of as an as an MC. I want to host one of the biggest shows, um, biggest show in the country. Like um, Echo Fest Sierra Leone is the biggest platform, the biggest show that do host artists from Nigeria, Ghana, most of the other countries in Sierra Leone, and it is the biggest platform in this country. It has been my, my dream to be one of the host MCs in that show, one of, um, you know, one of the MCs. So I want to achieve that dream because my first thing to achieve is to come for housemate, and I've achieved it already to come. And to win is another. But from here, I want to be one of those stars that will be hosting this big, yeah. And then to do videos, travel to Nigeria, to hook up with most of my comedians, uh, colleague comedians who are big up there, who are already stars. Because when you up there, try to get to those who are more than you, so that yeah. I can make videos that go to the YouTube and go all around yeah. the world. Okay. So these are some of my plans. Well said, well said. Let's give it up once again for a superstar. Let's line up for a selfie with Erica, then you will show her to the exit. Let's give it up once again. Erica, you're there. Okay. So, selfie where? Right here. Just go in front. Okay.